Hi everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. So today I am going to share an in-depth tutorial about how to use the PayPal debit card for couponing and as you see there, never pay for couponing again. This is seriously the truth. I absolutely love the PayPal debit card. I'm sure if you've been around here for a while you have heard me just rave about that card. And a lot of you guys have asked questions about it and have told me you really don't understand the reasoning behind it. So I want to give you guys kind of an in-depth explanation, how to use it, why to use it, and just how awesome it is and how to use it effectively. So I'm hoping this video helps clear up any questions and just teaches you guys how to use it. So first of all, before getting to all the information about the card, I just want to explain why you might even want this card. Like what's the benefits? What's the point of even having a PayPal debit card? So let's just explain that. Okay, so the emphasis for my couponing, and I'm sure many of you guys do, is rebate app shopping. The rebate apps are absolutely amazing, and they're just such a big game changer with couponing. So what's rebate app shopping? It means I purchase a product, use any coupons I have, pay that out-of-pocket price, and then receive a rebate through a cashback app like Ibotta, Shopkick, and Swagbucks. Now, this is actually the same type of concept as drugstore couponing, if you think about it, because they use they buy a sale item, they use the coupon, and they get an extra buck or register reward back. You have to pay that out-of-pocket price up front, and then you get your money back, essentially making it free in the end. So you're paying that money up front, but... Here's how the drugstore couponers get around it. They roll their store rewards, which means that they're not paying out of pocket because they're using their extra care bucks or register rewards to cover whatever the out of pocket cost is, which the example here is the Colgate toothpaste at $349, utilizing a four on two digital. You pay $298, they're using a $3 extra buck from a previous purchase, so they'll pay nothing and get a $4 extra buck back. So basically, they're making $1.02. They didn't have to pay that $2.98 out of pocket. They used the $3 to avoid any out of pocket. And I was like, this is what I was thinking. I was like, I don't, I want to do this with the rebate apps. I'm tired of putting the money on a, a bank card or a credit card. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. And so originally, I started rolling gift cards. Like, I cash out on Shopkick for a Walmart gift card. I cash out on Fetch for a Walmart gift card. And yeah, it worked but it wasn't easy there was all these different sources all these different places i couldn't use gift cards at kroger or at cvs or anywhere else i was like kind of tied to walmart and half the time like the gift cards would be a hassle i couldn't get them to scan on my phone the cashier would have to come approve it or it wouldn't print a receipt so we have to get a receipt reprint and it was just a lot of drama and i knew there had to be a better way i didn't want to keep swiping a credit card or a debit card every time I made a purchase with the rebate shopping because honestly that gets confusing and when you have all these different transactions running through it's hard to keep track of okay this was couponing so I'm getting this money back in rebates or oh I just went and bought this at Walmart and I didn't know if it was couponing or not it's just hard to keep track of it I didn't want to keep paying out of pocket for everything and I knew there had to be a better way and that's when the PayPal debit card stepped in so I got my PayPal debit card in January of 2020. I've never looked back. I use it every single couponing trip I do, legit, no joke. Every single trip for couponing, and I never pay cash out of pocket. There's been a couple times, we'll talk in a little bit, about how my balance was a tiny bit over what I had on the PayPal cards. I would quickly cover that, a couple bucks, but like one or two times. The rest of the times, I've never had to pay cash out of pocket anymore because I'm able to roll my rebate money through PayPal on this debit card. And it's just been amazing. So the PayPal debit card is simply my PayPal balance from all of the rebate apps I use. So when I cash out from Ibotta, I cash out from Shopkick, it all flows into this PayPal card into one balance. So there's not 40 different balances from all these different apps. It's all tied together on one. That's awesome. So I'm able to use the PayPal card in the store to pay. So whatever PayPal balance I got from cashing on my rebate apps, I use that to pay. And then I get the rebate money back. And then I cash up my rebate apps again, and it goes right back on the PayPal card for my next haul. This means no physical cash is coming out of my bank 
account or a credit card. Everything is from the rebate money with no cash out of pocket. So let's look at this little example on the equal here. 347, I used a $2 coupon, so $1.47 out of pocket. Of course, I used the PayPal card. Rebate money, not real cash out of pocket. And then I submitted for $1.25 I bought it, making my net price $0.23. Cents. I didn't pay that because I just rolled my rebate money through PayPal to get more rebate money. So th that's how it is. Seriously, it's so awesome. And you don't have to worry about charging on a credit card. Or maybe you don't have enough money in your bank account right now to do a $100 haul. Here you go. PayPal debit card to the rescue. And it's just so amazing. So have I convinced you yet that you need the PayPal debit card? If so, I'm going to show you guys how to get it. So we're on paypal.com and it's really easy. A lot of you guys have not been able to find the card because I do have several cards. So you got to make sure you're getting the right one. So here's how you find it. You're going to go click on personal. Okay. Personal. And then you're going to click on PayPal credits and cards. You're going to keep scrolling because we don't want a credit card. This is not a credit card. This is a debit card. We're going to go down here to the PayPal cash MasterCard. PayPal cash MasterCard. You're going to click on learn more. This is what I did just to show you guys kind of some, the gist of it. Um, just to show you guys. So there are no annual or monthly fees with the PayPal cash card. There also is no minimum balance, which means it can go down to zero. You can have a time where maybe you're not couponing or you hit hard times and you got to take the money out of your PayPal to pay your electric bill or whatever. You can have $0 sitting in your PayPal account and still have the card. They're not going to shut it down or anything. This is just whatever balance is in your PayPal at the time. That's how you do this, which is awesome. The only fees are like um, international withdrawals, over-the-counter withdrawals, which we're probably, we're never going to do that with this. Um, most likely, unless you're doing a bunch of different things. You do have options for direct deposit, and cashing a check, and loading cash, um, and bank transfers and stuff. So that's an option, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend that. The, re the main reason I love the PayPal card is it's got all my couponing in one place. These funds are specifically for couponing. There's not 40 different things going in and out, which is why doing it in a regular bank account was hard. So I wouldn't do any of those things just because we don't want to deal with that. So th that's what I'd say. Okay. But, you, but if you need it, you, you know, it's there. So then you're going to click, sorry, I just got a text. Then you're going to click on get the card. I'm not going to click on it. So it's going to bring up all my information. But I know exactly what you're going to do. Click on get the card. And then you're going to sign up using your PayPal login. So you just log in through PayPal. You'll read the terms of use and it brings up a mailing address. You'll confirm that mailing address. And then it literally will send the card to your house. That's it. Nothing else. It comes to your house and you come over here and click activate it now. And you'll just answer their little questions. Once you get the card, activate it, and then you're good to go. All right, so you got your card, you're all set up, and you're like, how do I get a balance in here? What if I don't have a balance? Well, there are several ways to get yourself a starting balance, but the way that makes the most sense is to cash out from whatever apps you have to your PayPal. This balance will be automatically loaded on your card when you go in the store. I personally recommend having the PayPal app on your smartphone, so you can check the balance in the store. That saved me a lot of times. So I just pulled up. I'm like, okay, this is what I have to spend. So here's the apps that will allow you to cash out to PayPal. And it's almost all of them with the exception of one. Hint, hint, fetch. Um, I bought a Shopkick, Swagbucks, Coupons.com, Savingstorm, Checkout 51, Kroger Cashback, CoinOut, and MyPoints. All allow you to cash out to the PayPal. Um, just a little side note. Like with Swagbucks and Shopkick, it's just a PayPal gift card. It's not a gift card. It just loads it to your account. I don't know why they call it a gift card, but they do. But I promise I've done it for months and it just loads the balance to your account. Like I said, Fetch is the only app that still does not have PayPal capability, which they really need to fix. Most of the apps do transfer the money within minutes, but others like Swagbucks and Kroger Cashback can take up to two days. If you have no accounts that you can cash out on, you can just transfer the money from your bank account into your PayPal it's kind of a pain and kind of defeats the point. But if you don't have any rebate money, you might want to consider doing that. All right, so here you go. You got your balance, your cards all set up, and you're ready to start rolling the rebate money. So you get your basket of stuff at Walmart or Kroger or wherever you're at. When paying, you just use your card like a normal debit or credit card. 
When it's time to pay, swipe the card, it'll pay your total and withdraw that money from your PayPal balance. Now, this is where it's really important to know what the balance is on your card because if you don't have enough funds in your PayPal accounts, it's going to need a second form of payment to pay the remaining balance. It like won't run through. And I've had this happen a couple times. For instance, let's say your total at Walmart came to 50 bucks and your PayPal card only has 4850. It will not allow you to use the PayPal card because it cannot cover the full balance. Here's what you would do. At self-checkout, click on multiple payment types. It will have you enter the amount you want to put in on the first payment type, which for the PayPal card would be 4850. You then would swipe the PayPal card, it would take off 4850, and then you'd pay the remaining balance with the other form of tender. The same process would happen at other stores. Now, let's say you don't really want to run into this. Here's a really good tip, and this is why it's so cool to shop at Walmart. Go to the register and pay for whatever you have the money in your PayPal account. Scan your receipt to Ibotta. And as long as you got over $20 of rebates, which I'm sure most of us usually do, you'll get the rebates and you can just cash out in the store and then that'll go right into your PayPal account and you can pay for the second transaction. So that's really cool and that's awesome. All right. If you make a return, someone asked about returns, the money will be placed back onto your account in a couple days as it would with any other card. I've had to do some returns a couple times and it's always not a big deal. They it's taken care of. So awesome. Hopefully this answered you guys' questions about the PayPal debit card. You need this card. This is essential. If you're into rebates, you got to have this card. Like seriously. I know you're like, oh, it seems like a lot of work. I just put it on my debit card or my credit card. But y'all, you can really see where your money's going so much easier with the PayPal card. You don't have to worry about, because these rebate hauls can get expensive. You hear me say like usually in rebates each week, it's at least $200 is what I'm spending out of pocket. Of course, I'm getting the rebates back. But if I was just doing that on a debit and credit card, that'd be like $800 a month on a debit and credit card. That's a lot of money. Doing it this way is so much more efficient and so much easier and just really allows you to see where your money's going and makes it so you don't have to put things on a credit card or a bank card. It's just your rebate money in that one spot being rolled efficiently and effectively. Just like the drugstores, would you want to walk in CBS and pay $100 every week even though you're getting $100 back in ECBs? No, and that's how I feel with the rebates. I don't want to keep putting all this money out every week even though I'm getting rebates back when I could be taking the money I earned and rolling it so I'm never losing any cash out of pocket or any money out of pocket. And that's just how it is. And that's why I think the rebates are so awesome and that's the best way to coupon because you can do things like this. And this covers your tax. I use this for my newspapers. It just, and if I ever did go back to CVS or Walgreens or something, it would pay my taxes. That's how I'd utilize the PayPal card. It's just so awesome. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. I hope this helps somebody out. If you have any more questions, you can totally ask them. And I hope this helped you guys and hopefully got some of you inspired to start rolling through the PayPal debit card. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.